Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed, and in this video I'll be fitting a hard screen protector onto an Apple Watch. This is not a promoted video, and this screen protector came from Amazon UK, and the price was £8.99 delivered. And of course, I will leave a link to Amazon in the description. Right, let's get back into this video. So opening the box itself, well, you don't really get a lot, to be honest. You only get one single screen protector and a cleaning cloth and wipe. The screen protector itself, that appears to be made of 100% sort of plastic, and it comes with a protective film on both the outside and the inside of the screen. The next stage of the process is really, really important. You must spend some time using the wet and dry cloths to clean any grease or dust from the screen on your watch. Once the cleaning is complete, then you're ready to apply the cover itself. And I'm really pleased to say that there is no adhesive on this cover at all, so you don't have to worry about getting out any bubbles that are trapped under the screen. And now you can go ahead and remove that inside protective cover. Make sure that you don't touch the inside of the screen with your finger because you will leave an imprint. Putting the cover on the watch is very easy, but just make sure you start with the crown side first. And as you push it on, you'll find that it goes on with a very reassuring snap. At this stage, it's just a good idea to have a look around the watch to make sure the cover is all central. And then when you're happy with that, you can then go ahead and remove the final piece of protective film that's on the front of the screen. And that's it, congratulations, you're done. Your watch is now protected. Now, I've seen quite a few of these sort of protective covers, but I think this one is quite good. It's, it's not too invasive. I mean, any cover you put on a watch aesthetically does sort of weaken the design, but this one's not too bad. I've got a black watch and this is sort of matte black as well, so it sort of blends in quite well. You wouldn't really know it was there. Also, the functionality doesn't appear to be affected. You can still access the crown wheel, rotate it, push it in, things like that. The home button isn't a problem. And this touchscreen itself, yeah, it seems absolutely fine. Uh, taps, double taps sort of seem to work. It seems to be sort of quite responsive. So I haven't noticed any sort of lag in performance. Oh yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I can say. I hope this video has helped you. It might help you decide on the cover for your own watch. If it has, please give me the thumbs up. I do appreciate that. And maybe consider a sub. But as for now, I'd like to say cheers. Thanks for your view time. Stay safe and I'll catch you all on the next one.